Welcome to another episode of Deep Mountain Security. Today uh, we're going to kind of have some fun here. Uh, so go to this website, click on boot disk, uh, links down below, and then just go down and scroll. And we've got a couple of options here. You've got a CD and a USB. We're going to go ahead and download the CD. Uh, you'll use the USB if you want to specifically put it on a USB, but because we're booting to a CD, we're going to download the CD. Uh, don't forget to extract the file. It's an I, There's an ISO file inside the zip file, and then we're going to go ahead and use that here later on. Um, and, and so that's going to be useful. You could also burn it to a CD if you had like an offline uh, computer. But what I've done is I've gone and I've set up a um, virtual machine here. Uh, we've got a couple of users, John and Alex. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and log into John's first. Uh, and password's just like super memorable password if I can type memorable, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and log in. And so what we've got set up here is John is an administrator and Alex is not. Um, so I'm going to just show you really quick that John's an administrator. If I go to PowerShell and uh, run uh, set execution policy, uh, so let's work with execution policies here. Um, and then you're going to notice that we're going to be able to um, uh, uh, set this because we have administrator privileges. Uh, so now you can see I've set it to unrestricted. So I'll go ahead and we'll just change this back to um, uh, restricted for now. And we'll call that good. Um, make sure that it actually worked. And then we're going to go ahead and log out. Uh, so, and then Alex, who we're going to log into next, that's just another memorable password here. Um, he is not an administrator. So you're going to notice that both of these accounts have passwords. John is an administrator. Alex is not. Um, so you're going to see I can log in. And so if I log in as Alex and I go and I try to run something like PowerShell as an administrator, then I'm going to get this little run dialog that's going to say enter in a password. And we don't know what the password is, so we're just, you know, going to try and never work and fail because uh, it doesn't work. So um, we are going to now go ahead and sign out. And we're actually going to reboot the machine here in a second. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and browse to that ISO file, just CD140201. Uh, that, that's the current version or whatever. So we're going to insert that in, as our CD. You know, you could do live USB on a regular machine as well or something similar, uh, which is why it has the USB download option. Um, we're going to go ahead and restart here. So now we're going to boot to our CD. Um, and this is our tool. This is probably the fastest way I have found to uh, bypass a Windows password or otherwise make yourself an administrator, etc. Um, but so what we're going to do here uh, is it's going to boot to this page right here. We're just going to go ahead and click our Enter button. And by clicking the Enter button, it's, it's going to start doing some stuff here and uh, I should probably make this thing a little bit bigger so you guys can see what in the world I'm uh, doing here but this is the basis of the program or whatever so you're going to see there's a lot of um, stuff here and it's going to kind of show us we've got a bunch of different options uh, so first thing it asks is which hard drive we want to use we want to use the one that has windows on it which happens to be the first one in this case we're going to go ahead and type a one or just hit enter um, and continue. So now we've got a couple things we can do here. We can either reset a password, uh, and use the recovery console, or load the registry editor where we can modify registry stuff online, offline. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and do the use the password reset stuff. Uh, now we've got a couple of options here again. We're going to go ahead and go edit user data and passwords, which we could either type a one or just hit enter. Um, and now you can look here. We've got our two different accounts. We've got Alex and we've got John. Uh, you'll notice that John has the admin underneath the admin tip box, and Alex does not. Um, so let's go ahead um, and get rid of John's password and make uh, Alex an administrator. So we'll start off with John here. Uh, so I'll type in his ID number according to the table and hit enter. Um, and then we're going to have a couple of options. We can either get rid of his password, unlock his account, promote him to an administrator, add him to a group, do some other stuff. But we're going to go ahead and just hit enter, which is... Um, uh, or not enter, but we're going to go ahead and uh, use the first one, which is link the password, and that works. Um, this kind of happens kind of fast. Sorry, guys. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and Alex's account, and or yeah, and we're going to go ahead and make him an, an administrator, um, and hit yes, and then now we're done. So um, that should have worked. 
Um, so we're going to head and close out of this, go back and look at it. You're going to notice that Alex is now has the admin listed by his admin thing on here. Uh, and we'll call that good and quit. And then make sure you write your changes or nothing will happen. We're going to go ahead and click Y or yes. Uh, uh, type that in and uh, save that. Um, and we're done now. So um, now we can go ahead and pop out the CD or the USB drive and reboot. Um, so essentially what this is doing here, this program, it goes in and it modifies the files in Windows that contain the actual um, passwords in them. So under the Windows System 32, let me rescale this, um, config folder on your heart, on your C drive generally, um, there's going to be a couple different files. That's where the registry is in there. However, that SAM file, capital S-A-M, that's where your users and um, passwords are generally stored. And so essentially what we're doing is we're using this utility to access our hard drive while our computer is off and modify that file. So if we go back and take a look here, um, go ahead and sign in, except this is Alex, so that's not going to work. So let's go with, over to John. Uh, you're going to notice there's no password. I click sign in, and woohoo, we're signing in this John. Yay, we hacked his password. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, really interesting because um, uh, essentially we're just modifying the files while the computer's off, which is really easy to do with a live CD. Um, go ahead and sign out, and we'll go back over. So you notice we are logged in as John. Uh, very good. Um, and then we'll go ahead and sign out and sign back in as Alex. Um, but because of the fact that we, it requires us to have offline access to the disk, um, you do need physical access to a computer to perform this uh, at a particular hack, I guess you can call it. Um, we're going to go ahead and log in with another mem memorable password. Um, however, if the disk is encrypted or you do not have access to the physical disk, this technique probably won't work. Um, but Seeing as how most people don't encrypt their hard drives and everything, uh, let's go ahead and run this as administrator. You notice it'll let us we can go ahead and click yes. Uh, just to prove my point, uh, we're going to go ahead and run set execution, get execution policy again. And just so that we can change it, we do have administrator privileges now. Um, but pretty much um, this won't work if your disk is encrypted or otherwise don't have physical access to it or not able to stick it in the machine to boot to it. Um, you're going to have some difficulties there. But that's generally not the case, as most standard Windows users have absolutely no idea how to encrypt their hard drive in the first place. That probably won't be a problem. Um, so this is really helpful when your you know, friends or other people have problems um, with their passwords and stuff like that. Just a great, fast utility uh, that works pretty good. And that's pretty much it. So have a good day.